good day everyone. This video is part 3 of trading crypto with OKX platform series. In this video, we will learn the difference between spot and future market, base and quote, order books, types of orders such as market order, limit order, and how to set stop loss and take profit, and so on. You can check the complete video series links on the description. And if you're new, please consider subscribing to this channel. Okay then, let's dive in. Now we will learn about the difference between spot, market, and future market. Before we continue, we have a special offer for you. You can get a 10% cashback for every transaction if you open account using this referral code KICKBACK10. If you trade in crypto, there are two markets, spot and future, or perpetual market. Here are the difference between both markets. For spot market, it is more suitable for long-term investment. It is uh, suitable for buy and hold because it has no leverage. We often call it 1x, so there is no risk of liquidation. So trading in crypto in spot market, it's more like uh, in a stock market. So you buy the instrument first, then you can sell it. And the spot market is one direction or long only. You cannot sell unless you buy first. Now, in future market, it is more suitable for short-term trading. Many traders use it for speculation to get profit from price difference. You can trade using leverage up to 100x. Now, this is the maximum leverage you can use to trade Bitcoin in OKX, and your position can get liquidated. In the future market, we call it open and close positions rather than buy and sell. And there are two directions. You can open long and you can also open short. For example, if you open short positions and the price goes down, you can still take profit on that position and vice versa for long position. Now I would like to share a very important concept about base and quote. For example, if we see uh, this uh, PTC slash USDT, this is pair that we often see if we want to uh, buy and sell a cryptocurrency. On the left side, PTC, we call it base. And on the right side, we call it quote. Now I give you an example. If we want to buy BTC, now uh, we have uh, the instruction like this, buy BTC slash USDT. Meaning that if we want to buy BTC by deducting your USDT. And in this case, you must have your USDT ready in your trading wallet in OKX. We learned about trading wallet in the previous part of this course. Now, another example, if we want to sell ETH, slash USDT. It means that we want to sell ETH and convert it to USDT. Now the third example, uh, buy ETH slash BTC. It means that we want to buy Ethereum by deducting your BTC. So you need to have BTC first before you can buy Ethereum. Okay, the last example, if we want to sell USDC to USDT. USDC is a stable coin. We want to convert it to another stable coin, which is USDT. We must own USDC first to be converted to USDT. Another very important concept that you need to learn before you dive into the trading in cryptocurrency is order book and price. If you look in the OKX apps, you will see this picture. I will explain it one by one, especially uh, for this one, the order book. On the left side here, we call it order book. On the top side, we see the price is above the current price and we call it offer price. In this offer order book, seller wants to sell as high as possible. In this example, the seller of BNB wants to sell as high as possible. That's why the price is above the current price. And below the current price, we see the bid order book. Bid price is where the buyers wants to buy as low as possible. Imagine if you want to buy, you want it as low as possible, and if you want to sell, as high as possible. And in the middle, we call it current price. It is the last trade price. And if you see this little one here, it is called a mark price. So mark price is weighted average price from derived from several exchanges. The current price and mark price may or may not be the same. It's also used for PNL calculation and liquidation. Now we dive into the OKX apps. Let's learn about spot market. And on the apps, you can see the center bottom of the menu here. Tap twice 
you can tap the spot menu here. On the top left corner, you can see the pairs that we can uh, purchase, we can buy. In this case, we select PNP USDT and below it, you can find the button buy and sell. Below it, you can find type of order, which uh, we will learn about it later on. Market order. It is the simplest type of order. We will immediately buy or sell the asset. For example, in this BNP order book, this price, we call it best offer. Why we call it best offer? Because it is the cheapest price among the others. That's why we call it best offer. If we buy BNP using market order, this market price refers to best offer. So buy at market price is buy at this price. And in the opposite, if we sell at market price, we sell it at best bid. We sell it at this price. Trading using market price, it means that we take liquidity from the order book. And the fee to do such transaction is called taker fee. Now, what does taking liquidity from the order book mean? I give you an example. Suppose you want to buy BNB using market price here. Let's say we want to buy 10 BNB. Then we will take the supply from the order book. 10.39 BNB will become 0.39 BNB. It means we take liquidity from the market. For example, I want to buy BNB. You can see sliding bar here, 25, 50 to 100%. In this case, I want to buy manually 100 USDT at market price. Tap buy BNB and tap confirm. And 100 USDT will be deducted from your wallet and converted to BNB. You can check your transaction by tapping on menu assets and then select the trading wallet and you can check BNB is in there. Now, if you take a look at the overview wallet and then you tap to the BNB, you can see here the average cost of BNB. If you purchase a BNB several times, so the system will automatically calculate the average of your purchase. You can compare the average cost with the last price on the right side. So meaning that if the last price is higher, you make profit. Limit order. In limit order, we can set at what price we want to entry. For example, we want to buy Ethereum. We can enter the price manually, which is 2232.95. And the total amount of it we want to purchase is 0 0.003. And this limit order will add liquidity to this line. So if you want to buy using limit order, you have to set the price below the current price. So limit order will add liquidity to the order book. So current liquidity is 0 0.002. When you set the limit order, it will become 0 0.005. And when this order get executed, you will be charged with maker fee. Maker fee is 0.08%, which is less 20% uh, than taker fee. Now, here's the example of limit order. Suppose we want to buy ETH and we want to set limit order below the current price. Here is the current price of ETH. Now, I want to set the limit price to 2100. Next, we set the amount of dollar uh, we used to buy ETH. We tap buy ETH and confirm. After placing the order, you can check the order here, and we call it pending order or limit order because it's not yet executed. You can also see the pending order on chart. You can tap here. Oh, let me zoom out a bit this chart. There you can see the limit order set at 2100. So when its price goes down uh, and reach 2100, our order will get filled or executed. How to set take profit and SL order. To set it, select sell first on this button and then select this TP and SL. Other option below is conditional. Conditional means we can only set TP or SL either one. If we set the TP, it means that the trigger price will be filled or executed if it's above the current price. For example, this is the current price. If I set the trigger price to 2220, yeah, it's above the current price, means that I'm setting the TP. But if I set the trigger price below the current price, it means that I'm setting the SL. For the type of order, we can set whether it's market order or limit order. Well, in this case, for TP and SL, I would suggest to use market order instead of limit order. Okay, next option is we can use also the OCO. OCO stands for one cancel other order. 
Using OCO, we can set both TP and SL all together. We can set TP here, let's say 2220, and SL here 2210. If price goes up and hit TP trigger, then the SL trigger will be cancelled, and vice versa. Now let's go to the example on how to use it. First, we select the button cell, and we select also this to uh, TP and SL. Now, if you want to select uh, either one, TP or SL, we can uh, select this conditional. Now, if you want to set the TP, we set the trigger price above the current price. And for example, we set the TP to 2300. And we set the market order. Then we set the amount of it we want to sell, in this case 100%. Sell it and click confirm. You can check the TP order below, it's still not yet filled. By using conditional, we can directly set the SL. So we need to cancel the order first. After the canceling, we can set the trigger below the current price. I set 100% for selling it in market order and then click confirm and order placed. You can see the order here, it is for SL trigger, which is below the market price. Another option we can use OCO. By using OCO, we can set TP and SL at once. We set TP and we set the SL. We set the amount. Click sell it and confirm. There will be two orders, TP uh, and SL trigger, both at market price. TP and SL order using OCO, both are also reflected on chart like this. Alright, that would be the end of part 3 and on part 4, we will learn about trading in the future market. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for watching guys, and if you like the video, very much appreciate it if you could hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. My name is Tommy Yu, have a good trading day, and see you!